1714, George I ascended the British throne, and on this 300th anniversary, uh, we're celebrating with an exhibition by George, Handel's Music for Royal Occasions, which looks at how Handel wrote music for various royal occasions for both Stuart and Hanoverian monarchs. His earliest works were for Queen Anne, including the Birthday Ode, uh, one of his most exquisite works, and he also composed the coronation anthem for George II, Zadok the Priest, which has been sung at every coronation since 1727. Lesser known, perhaps, are his works for teaching the royal princesses. His lessons for Princess Louisa, uh, which survive in the British Library, were written as instructional pieces. And his funeral music for Queen Caroline, which he composed later in 1737, was composed in a couple of weeks' time at the specific request of the king. One of his most famous works, which has had an association with the family hospital, is the fireworks music. This was composed in 1749. Um, there was a big structure built at the, in Green Park um, for the fireworks, this to celebrate a victory. And the music was repeated a month later at the Foundling Hospital in Handel's first concert for the charity. One of the more interesting things we discovered in preparing this exhibition was that the anthem Zadok the Priest um, first performed at the coronation in 1727, was actually sung in the wrong place. Uh, the Archbishop's copy of the Order of Service has annotations in the marked margin where he notes that the anthem was sung where a hymn should have been sung. We don't know whether that means they sang Zadok again at the right point or just skipped a whole section of the service. The Handel Collection at the Family Museum was assembled by a businessman called Gerald Cook in the 20th century and he bequeathed the collection to the museum recognising the connection of Handel with the Foundling Hospital. The collection includes around 10,000 items, including 1,000 manuscripts, as well as artworks and ephemera. As well as being the leading composer of his day and the preeminent composer in Britain in the 18th century, Handel was also a philanthropist. The two main beneficiaries were the Royal Society of Musicians, to whom he left £1,000 in his will, and the Foundling Hospital. Handel organised various benefit concerts for the hospital, paid for the first organ, and left a copy of the score and parts of Messiah in his will to, so that the hospital could carry on with benefit concerts after he died. One of the most important items in the collection is Handel's will, which he wrote in 1750, um, giving various bequests, and starting with his servant, Peter Le Blonde, to whom he left his clothes and linen and £300. He wrote four further codicils over the next nine years. This was the most financially successful time of Handel's life. In the third codicil, two years before he died, he left the score and parts of Messiah to the hospital. One of my favourite items it is the indenture of 1739, signed by Handel, acknowledging receipt of the kettle drums. He borrowed these enormous drums from the Tower of London, as they were the only place that had a big enough pair of drums uh, just to, to meet his requirements for the Dead March in Saul, and this rather official looking document um, undertakes that he will bring them back in as good condition as received, with this signature at the bottom. I like to think that as well as composing one of the major oratorios, he's also having to deal with the domestics of actually putting the performance together.